Hi, I'm Mrs Cleave, the Year 2 class teacher. Most of you will have seen me on the yard, or even in the morning or at home time. Um, and we're so lucky in Year 2 to have three fantastic support staff in Mrs Bramford, Miss Cleaves and in Mrs Mia. Um, the children have settled absolutely fantastically so far into life in Year 2. They're a brilliant bunch, really kind to each other really chatty, happy to work with each other at different times. We, as a school, we try to encourage children working with different people all the time. <clears throat> and that's something that they seem very comfortable with. They settle really well into our routines, knowing what to do when they come in, developing the independence and exploring the classroom. I'm so, so proud of them. In terms of routines, just a reminder that on a Monday, we ask that you send back their reading book and their library book and then that gives us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to listen to them read, to develop their reading skills, for it to go home back to you with a new book on Thursday. So that's two books going home, one being the library book for you to enjoy sharing a story with your child, you reading it to them, and the second one, a reading book where they read to you. Firstly, you can support them by developing the strategies to sound out the words and look at the tricky words that can't be sounded out. And secondly, to talk about what they're reading, to ask them what were they doing questions, why were they doing that, what happened before, what do you think is going to happen next. These are the things that will help her them come on in their reading. The second day of the week is Thursday and that's our PE day. So we do ask due to COVID restrictions that the children come to school wearing some form of PE kit, not their school uniform. As the weather's turning now, some jogging bottoms, some leggings with either a school PE t-shirt or any kind of t-shirt with a little hoodie, <coughs> excuse me, and trainers would be fantastic. We do have PE out on the yard. Um, so some nice warm appropriate clothing for that would be brilliant. That moves me on to appropriate clothing for the yard, for both for playtime and for outdoor learning. And can we ask that as the weather's turning now, that all children come in with a coat and sensible appropriate shoes. We do value the importance of outdoor learning, getting the children outside, having the opportunity in small groups or whole class to get outside. And we're so lucky in year two, we're about to have a, a new door put in our classroom where we'll have direct access to the outdoors now even more important that they do have a coat for the cold autumn winter days and um, the more we can get them outside the more they'll enjoy and the, be the health benefits of that are vast um, thank you to everyone who's sending in fruit for a morning snack we are a healthy school and we do try to encourage that our morning break which is around half past ten that the children have a piece of fruit and a little drink just to keep them going Thank you to everybody who's sending in water bottles every day. I think we've got most of them labelled by now so that the children have access to some water throughout the day. They do get thirsty. They are talking a lot throughout the day. It's important that they have access to a drink throughout the day. Healthy lunches as well. It's great to see so many healthy lunches, different options for them. And the children are now getting more and more independent in telling us in the morning whether they are sandwiches or whether they are dinners and if they're school dinners choosing their menus by themselves showing fantastic independence in this now independence is something that we're keen to develop in terms of the children being able to put their own coats on to put the lids on the bottle themselves to do zips and buttons up and to tie their own shoelaces. Now I know that tying shoelaces can be a tricky thing for some to learn, but the more practice they have at home, this will be something that they'll enjoy doing. And then before I know it, I'll have the whole class all helping each other tying their shoelaces. Um, I think that's about it. The children have settled really well. In terms of the curriculum, the topic that we're doing at the moment is all about people and we focused on people in charge and we support child-led learning. So the children have said that they want to learn about the Queen, Boris Johnson and people in Swansea Council. So that's an avenue that we're exploring at the moment, answering some of the children's questions. That's alongside our regular curriculum, maths, English, science, art, music, history, geography. Um, in maths we're doing an awful lot of number work this term 
Now, the more counting you can do at home, pairing up socks, counting in twos, adding one more to things. When you're sorting out the washing, counting how many items there are, doubling items, halving items. This will help the children understand why we're using number. In terms of writing, the more opportunities the children have to write, the better. Shopping lists, menus, um, place table mats, postcards, letters, diaries, book reports, anything where they can have a go at writing. At this age, it's important that we encourage them to want to write, to have a go at putting those finger spaces between words, putting the full stops at the end of their sentences, having a think about where a capital letter goes, thinking about the letter formation, all the things that we're working on in class, giving them the confidence to take those home and do those at home. We're encouraging the children to be as healthy as possible and we do a lot in school on being active and being healthy and at the weekends cutting down the amount of times on on screens on devices going for walks going for um, trips to the park and it's been so lovely to hear the children talk about the the monthly homework challenges that went home hearing about family discos hearing about families out cloud watching and all the conversation that's gone with that it's absolutely wonderful so thank you for supporting the children in that the main thing is to say is that you see me every morning and at home time if ever you've got a question please feel free to ask um, or if you want to make some time to talk to me please ask if we can make the time to have a chat don't leave it too long let me know and then we can hopefully answer any questions that you may have but I'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying the class they make me smile every day they're a smashing bunch who all seem really kind to each other and seem to enjoy learning having a, a growth mindset to be the best that they can be and challenge themselves to to do things that they're going to help them learn so thank you ever so much okay I'll speak to you soon take care bye